Hey folks, we're here today at Mark Pinto's Primitive Tattoo at Far East Plaza. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at traditional hand tattoos. Uh, traditional hand tattoos are done without machine, without tattoo gun. It's done manually and it's an art form that's been uh, done in Samoa, in Hawaii, basically the Pacific Islands. So Mark is going to show us how it's done. We're going to step in, chit chat with him a little and we're going to get down to it. Hey folks, we're here with Mark. He is the tattoo artist and this is Maddie. Maddie is the one that's going to get the traditional hand tattoo. So Maddie, why a traditional hand tattoo? Well, I've actually got three done by the conventional method uh, and I thought it would be a nice experience. Just want to try it out. What's the design you're going to get done today? I'm actually going to get an origami crane. Where is that going to be? Uh, it's not going to be on the inside of my arm. That's supposed to be a painful area. But, you know, she looks brave, she looks strong and uh, Let's see how she does at the end of the shoot, huh? What's going to happen now is that Mark is going to apply the stencil and once um, that's set and Maddie's happy and then we'll get started with the traditional hand tattoo. Alright, are you happy with that? Uh, yeah. Mark, could you explain to us what um, this is right now? Bamboo tool with a bit of a grip and uh, the handmade needles there. I'm actually just plucking the skin. So I'm actually going at an angle and kind of lifting the skin up, injecting the ink inside. If you were to compare the um, conventional method and the traditional method, which would you say it's more painful? Um, from the experience of all the clients and myself, um, the traditional hurts less and heals a lot faster. Okay, um, what's the... Um the healing period like? Um, sometimes about four or five days. Oh, that's pretty fast, you know. It is pretty quick. Why is it faster? We don't actually penetrate the skin very deep mm -hmm. and we don't go over the same area more than three, four times usually. Therefore, the skin's not, you know, uh, not too damaged and uh, you know, it's kind of like a scratch. Heals pretty quick. And you can do it in full color, you know? Color, shades, uh -huh. lines, yeah. Is there any pain that, that you're going through right now or is it still alright? It's getting quite painful actually. How does this feel like? It feels like if you got scratched by a needle. But isn't that what um, tattoos are like? Not really. So how is it different? For the conventional method, you feel more of like a constant searing pain. Because it's a lot faster. And yes. And we're done with the lines. So it looks like we are done with the outline, so what's next? Uh, the shading. What's the difference between uh, the instrument that you use earlier and the one that you're using now for the shading? The first one I used was just to make the outline. Mm -hmm. It's just a combination of needles set up in a single row. And this one's uh, curved needles arranged in uh, you know two rows. Uh -huh. And uh, allows me to shade all color. What you're doing right now is just bruising the skin, right? It's not going deep. Yeah, I'm just basically going on the surface of the skin. So I'm not going deep at all. I'm just working and reworking to put the tone in okay. and shade. So it's really light application. All right. This is Maddie. She's happy with her tattoo. So how do you like it, Maddie? I like it a lot. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Bro, thank you for your time. Thank you. Know, you. This is Noah Boy signing off. <laughs>